again, this is Dr. Farshid Ariz from TMJ uh, and Sleep Therapy Center International. Again, thank you for watching us. And uh, I just want to briefly talk about uh, oral appliances uh, uh, versus uh, CPAP. CPAP uh, stands for constant positive air uh, pressure. Uh, so the machine is actually uh, in the CPAP is blowing air into your nose or into the mouth or into the mask that you have. And that there's nothing wrong with that. That's this considered standard of gold in uh, sleep apnea, patients that are having a sleep-related problem. But um, uh, upper airway resistance syndrome has different uh, spectrum. Let's say if I will ask the patients, you know, uh, do you stay asleep? Uh, do you snore? Or do you wake up in the morning having, uh, uh, you know, not being fresh? Or do you fall asleep during the day, like around three or four o'clock? So if the answer is yes to any one of these questions, then uh, you probably have obstructive sleep apnea or upper airway resistance syndrome, which needs to be looked at and diagnosed. Well, um, if you're severe, which is a AHI over 30, uh, a number of how many times you collapse your airway or completely or partial, well, then the physician would recommend a CPAP, uh, constant positive air pressure. And depending on what type, well, it could be blowing the air into your body all the time, or APAP, which is the machine realize how much air you need to be delivered into your body, it goes up and down, or BiPAP. But either way, uh, there is a better solution uh, for most of the patients that are considered mild or moderate or CPAP intolerance, which means, well, uh, you are told to have uh, CPAP uh, uh, be used every night, but for life of you, you just don't want to use the machine because whether it makes too much noise or it's not uh, user friendly, so you just give it away. Well, um, I want to make sure that uh, you understand there is another alternative, which is the use of oral appliances. Oral appliances and CPAP can be combined together, which will be considered as a BiPAP therapy. This is a Shirazi appliance. Dr. Shirazi was the one who came up with the idea. Well, basically, it comes connected to the oral appliances, so it becomes as a one unit. Now, the machine is delivering the air via the nostrils, or the mouthpiece, great. And the oral appliances is able to hold the jaw in a position so that it doesn't fall back or create an apnea or hypopnea. Well, this is great because now the machine has to work less and the oral appliances is working beautifully because it protects from clinching and grinding. And most of the time when I talk to the patient, I say, well, your body is able to get enough air because of the machine, but what about your clinching and grinding? Nothing's happening. And a lot of times where patients say, well, I use or I have night guard, something like this. Well, the problem with night guard is whether it's upper or lower arch, or what is made of, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, plastic or acrylic, doesn't really matter because night guard by itself doesn't hold the position as much as the oral appliances do. So oral appliances, are, these are FDA approved, and these are the only way that you can protect the airway from the collapse so using oral appliances will allow the airway to be patent and air is delivered to your lung. Anyway, uh, so I hope uh, this is a little bit informative and information that you can use. So please feel free to reach our uh, centers anywhere that you are. And if you have more information, uh, uh, follow us, please. Thank you.